Hey guys, it's been a wee while since we've done a walkthrough of the shop, so uh, not long closed tonight, so let's have a wee walk round. I'll show you what goodies we've got in store. Uh, so you can see we've got a nice welcoming figure here waiting for you, and no, it's not my reflection. Uh, you can kind of see the back of the, cat, the glass cabinets we've got as well, but yeah, let's have a look inside. Okay, so here we go. So, Vault Boy's saying hi to you. He's pretty cool, quite a new addition to the shop. Uh, what I'm going to do so we don't get interrupted is I'm going to pop these shutters down. Hey, right, just in case anyone thinks they can still come in. So, you come in, we've got the usual display of Pokemon stuff, we've got a lot of ATBs, we've got some boxes of stuff. Uh, we pretty much try and keep in all the Pokemon stuff in stock. We've got some 3 for 2 offers on as well. We managed to get a few 151 bits back in. We've got some folders and stuff down the bottom. We usually recommend Vault X because their stuff is pretty much the best around. Uh, we've got a wee key rings and badge pack, wee impulse purchases. Uh, here, probably some more impulse purchases. These are all pretty much four or five pound each. Uh, we Japanese figures for the likes of Gundam, Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia, Kamen Rider. And we've got some more stuff for Stitch, Spider-Man, Sonic, uh, Star Wars. We've got some new plushies in for Deadpool and Wolverine and some Deadpool figures. These are quite cool, the kind of 3D lenticular motion art things. Yeah, and behind the counter, I've got some nice high-end Star Wars figures, statues. Uh, that bane is beautiful, it's 3D printed and hand-painted, really, really nice. Uh, a lot of the figures on this shelf are actually 3D printed and hand-painted, like Buffy and Apocalypse. I've got some stuff from Magic the Gathering, uh, Batman Family. That's really cool, the Batman utility belt replica. And here, loads more Pokemon stuff. And I do mean loads. Uh, this is a retesting station where we check anything that people trade in. Interestingly here, we've got hanging up, we've got a lot of HDMI converters and stuff like that for getting your older consoles on a new TV. Uh, what a mess there, there's where we make our lunch. This is quite cool, we're going to start doing Warhammer stuff in the shop, so we've got a welcome pack from Games Workshop and yeah, we're just going through the process of getting that set up. Another exciting addition to the shop. Uh, tons of nice Sideshow Lord of the Rings statues. A couple of Black Series lightsabers. Yeah, there's our, we do sell our own mugs and baseball caps. Yeah, some cool stuff there. Uh, front here, so this is where we keep most of our card games are. So, the new Star Wars Shadows of the Galaxy expansion just came out last week. These are kind of cheaper graded cards, uh, just to give the kids a chance to get a wee graded card for not too much money. Uh, I've got the newest Pokemon sets. So... Loads of Pokemon in here, some Japanese ones, loads of Dragon Ball and Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, yeah, and we also have the new Dragon Ball sets just out, some graded Dragon Ball cards, some miscellaneous stuff, the new Magic the Gathering Assassin's Creed stuff, another new Magic set, Star Wars and One Piece. So, some cool stuff there. Got a cool map made here just to protect the glass from getting scratched at the towel. Uh, so, cabin under here, we've got nice stuff. Lightsabers, we've got some film props. Just random bits that don't really go with a lot of other stuff. And a couple of expensive pops. Uh, really nice graded Turtles comic. It is £700. They only made a hundred of these and then this one's actually double signed and authenticated as well that way. Uh, 
some jewelry and stuff in here. A few random trading card sets. Pin badges. We've got a Sega Dreamcast watch, which is unusual. So in there we've got our expensive Pokemon folder. There's graded cards, which you can just about see there. And loads more graded cards in there. These are the kind of starting to get a bit more expensive ones. Uh, I've actually got, can't see it from there, uh, Chainsaw Man cards randomly graded as well. Some nice stuff. And we also here have a wee graded display as well. Uh, sorry, the light glare in here is absolutely terrible. Uh, this just came in today, a wee Hellboy film cell. That's why it's really beautiful. And an incredibly expensive but very rare Nintendo Switch box set of the five Shanty games. Uh, I've got a few cool retro figures up here. It's an original speeder bike from Jedi and the original animated series Batmobile, which is really cool. More Star Wars, some random bits. A uh, couple of Gremlins, we've got loads of nice hot toys up there and some older Sideshow DC figures. Uh, we've got a Harry Potter sword of all things, which is beautiful. And some nice created comics in here. There's a real Ghostbusters, Mario, Masters of the Universe, Wolverine Spider-Man, What If. Yeah, some random bits there, Midnight, the Ewoks. Batman and Dark Grey. Hey, you even got Star Wars Oreos in. You don't know if you're going to be the light side or the dark side until you open them. Uh, so, I'll just continue along this wall since I'm going this way. So, we've got a lot of munchies here. Yeah, there are some gaps in the shelf because we've got a big delivery coming in this week. So, Jim in the shop has been making space in anticipation. Wee box of gizmos. Yeah, some nice Australian chocolate in as well just now. And our legendary ass cookies. Right, so we've got lots of nice peg bags hanging up here. Some nice chewy sour sweets and stuff. So pretty jam packed just now. This is our coming near the end of day reduced kind of stuff. If you haven't tried these, you are missing out. They're amazing. These wee gummy sweets are incredibly popular with kids. And we've got some themed tin sweets as well, which look super cool. So we'll try and get some stuff in that's a wee bit different. Again, the hairs, Chris, if you haven't tried these, you are missing out. They are absolutely amazing. And the fridge, again, we've got some gaps because either tomorrow or the day after we should get a new delivery in with drinks, so we'll be making some space. These shelves are ready for all the new deliveries of Chris that come in. Got some nice Australian and Canadian Pringles in just now. Yeah, some more drinks and chewy sweets, and even more crisps. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, up the top, we have the big Pokemon set, which we've reduced because it's an awful lot of money. So it was four hundred pounds; it's now three twenty. Uh, the mathematicians amongst you will work out that's twenty percent off. Star Trek model set and loads of really nice and old and rare. Transformer statues there. And we obviously have our arcade. I don't think there's been too many changes in here since last time, so we'll just go for a wee quick walkabout. We've got our usual suspects Pac Man, Aliens Extermination, Mario Kart 2, Afterburner Climax, the original Outrun, we've got a Street Fighter Pachinko machine, uh, a nice big multi game cab. Star Wars Battle Pod, a couple of candy cabs, a 
Ouch. Just kidding, you didn't hear that. Crossbeat Sunrise, Avulix, Candy Cab, Street Fighter. This awful machine will not be here long, hopefully. It's just a temporary space filler. It's a multi game thing, but yeah, I don't like it. And the rather awesome next generation pinball machine. Uh, we've got random controllers and accessories at the end here. It's a bit of a pick and mix in there. Uh, loads of Nintendo Switch stuff in just now, which I should really have tidied up before doing this. Uh, yeah, that went well. So, lots of special editions and yeah, normal games, including the ones I've just dropped in the floor. Loads of Wii stuff. Got some Wii U, we've got some of the big box sets with the Amiibos. And some Wii U games, a couple of special editions. Got quite a lot of GameCube in just now, although not anything super rare. Got loads of Paper Marios for some reason. Uh, yeah, so, nice stuff in there. Uh, PS2, we are overloaded with really nice stuff just now, which is a nice problem to have. As you can see, it's starting to take up so much so that we're actually three layers deep at the bottom shelf. So you could help us out and come in and buy loads of them, it'll give us some more space. And we've got some pretty high-end stuff in just now as well, which is always nice. Yeah, uh, nice Skylanders box set. Loads of limited run stuff in as well. So they're PS4 games, even though they're kind of in the PS3 section. Uh, it's quite an unusual one to get the Steelbook version of Castlevania. So more PS3. We actually got quite a nice wee collection in today, we just put in the shelves. And again, the bottom shelf you're down to being three levels deep now, so it's getting a bit out of control. PlayStation 4, uh, as I said, we've got loads of nice limited run stuff like Stranger Things 3, which is £175, but it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, nice double dragon, loads of cool stuff for the PS4. A good mix of normal games and limited run stuff. These are all at least two two levels deep, two layers deep. And down the bottom it's hard to see but we've got loads of the Neo Geo conversions for PS4, the limited run releases of them. Uh, we do have a a growing selection of PS5 stuff. It is two, but two layers deep as well. And then Xbox 360. Tons of this as well. Uh, good machine to collect for, tons of good games and right now not so expensive, although some of the games are really starting to creep up in price. Deadpool is now £22. Uh, so yeah, if you can buy it just now, go for it before the prices get really high. And then at the bottom here we've got, again this is three layers deep, which is a bit ridiculous, but we've got original Xbox. Got loads of nice games in for that, and then we've got a couple of shelves of Xbox One, a wee tiny smattering of Series X games mixed in as well, although we don't have a lot for that. Uh, there's a few special editions dotted along the top. Nice big cyberpunk book, we've got a Pit Boy up there, some Pokemon Funkos. And yeah, this is always seems to end up being primarily a Pokemon cabinet, this. Uh, we have an incredibly rare Sega-developed Pokemon game here, which was for the Pika, Pico Bino, Bina, I can't even say it, machine in Japan. It was an educational system. So yeah, an actual Sega-made official Pokemon game. Quite unusual. Uh, let me put that back in. So we've got some loose carts here, mainly Japanese Pokemon. That's the five mainstream Game Boy Advance games. We've got the original Pokemon Card Battle, 
got Pokemon Blue, Yellow, Silver and Gold in just now, Japanese. We've got a very sun faded Pokemon Red. We've got a yellow and a blue for the UK one. Some more random nice stuff in there. Some sealed Persona games, a couple of Pokedex. We've got some Wonderswan consoles with the new screen mods put in them. Yeah. So that is that we side done there. So we will continue down the gaming bit. So Mega Drive stuff. We have lots of goodies. Again, this is all two layers deep. So you've got classics like Castlevania. You've got Michael Jackson, Moonwalker, Aladdin, Batman, Sonic and Knuckles, Earthworm Jim. Yeah, we've got lots of nice stuff. Streets of Rage, Robocop, Terminator, Predator 2. Yeah. Again, Master System box is now overflowing. This is really cool, the Mario Cement Factory, the tabletop game and watch. This is Pac-Man, a ColecoVision game. Quite a lot of Mega CD stuff in just now, which is always nice. Some more Mega CD in there. Uh, random 3DO. We have Philips CDI, Engage. Got big box Mega CD stuff here, blocking the way. That box there has got Neo Geo and CD32. Game Gear. And some random big box stuff. A uh, couple of boxes of Dreamcast games. Some nice ones in there as well. Surprisingly good game that. 102 Dalmatians. Got Shen Moose. We've got Tech Romancer. Resident Evil 3. A lot of uncommon stuff. We've got some of the nice shoot 'em ups as well. Nightmare Creatures 2 is difficult to get. Yeah, so we've got another box underneath there as well. Got a nice box of Sega Saturn here. Uh, any highlights? So there's KO Flying Squadron 2, which, as you can see, is not cheap. And there's stuff like Wiz, Skeleton Crew, Story of Thor, and Immaculate Condition, Alien Trilogy, Loaded, Enemy Zero in there. Yeah, there's lots of nice stuff in here just now. Uh, and we've got another box of Saturn stuff, which is not as nice, but some decent sports games and stuff in there. Miscellaneous rummage box with HDMI converters and 64 adapters and stuff like that. Loads of PlayStation 1 stuff in just now. Got three boxes worth here. Uh, again... Got some fairly hard to get stuff like Primal Rage, which is garbage, but hey ho. Omega Boost's a nice one from the guy that did Gran Turismo. Lots of good games in there. There's Breath of Fire 4. Uh, what else we got? Umjama Lamy, which is going up and up in price all the time. Yo Yo's Puzzle Park. Tombi 2. So yeah, lots of nice stuff in there. Uh, loose Mega Drive and Master System stuff in there. Uh, Game Gear. PS1 memory cards. Lots of loose cards for DS. Neo Geo Pocket. Game Boy. Game Boy Advance and the likes in there. Uh, loose Super Nintendo games. So there's Mario All-Stars. Mario World. Cool Spot. Clay Fighter. Primal Rage. Etc. Etc. So again... Under there, there's some more loose stuff. Yeah, memory cards and stuff in there. Loose N64. Box nest. So we've got quite a lot in just now. We've got a beautiful box Zelda. We have Secret of Mana. Yeah, Mortal Kombat. Got a really nice copy of Zombies. Star Wars. WrestleMania, the arcade game, which is really hard to get these days. Yeah, the Red Box Mario World, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, which is really difficult to get. And yeah, there's a whole other layer underneath as well, so 
If you're in the shop and you want your SNES, have a good rummage. N64, same again. We're kind of busting out the box just now. Tons of stuff up there. Uh, what have we got? Yeah, we got a collection in. It was, it's a shame because it was... Castlevania is not bad condition, but it's a Turok 3. Even in this condition, it's still £100. And there was a... Where did I put it? There's an Evil 2 in here somewhere as well, which disappointing condition, but still goes for a fortune. And there we go. Yeah, as you can see, box not good. And it's still £220. Yeah, crazy money. Yeah, but we've got some really nice stuff in for the N64 just now. Uh, up here we missed out. This big box is full of soundtrack CDs. So, tons of Final Fantasy soundtracks, we've got really weird stuff like the Pokemon Red and Green soundtrack, which goes for crazy money. Nice stuff, best of Final Fantasy. Uh, we've got a, this, this is a, a Castlevania tribute, this is really rare, hence why it's £200. Uh, for that money I'd be expecting the band to turn up and play it in my house, but never mind. Uh, some Game Boy Advance stuff up there. We have. Oh, these are the wrong box. These are supposed to be other than Nintendo stuff. So, yeah, we've got lots of NES stuff in just now as well. Uh, some nice stuff like Punch Out, Double Dragon 2, Robocop, Gunsmoke, Double Dragon, Gremlins 2. Beautiful copy of Parodius. Yeah, lots of nice stuff in here. Again, there's another layer underneath. Some ColecoVision stuff, including stupidly rare Boulder Dash, which is £600, which is mind blowing. Yeah, some nice stuff up there. And running out of space here, we've got a PlayStation Vita box. It's got loads of nice games in it. Again, a mix of kind of limited run and also standard games there. A big Bravely Second box set and a Skylander set, which I will attempt to set up there for 360. So, Game Boy, Game Boy Vans, Game Boy Color games are in here. And again, got some really, really nice stuff in here. I've got some Zeldas, there'll be some Castlevanias. F Zero, Street Fighter Alpha, yeah, lots of stuff, WarioWare, Popeye, some really nice stuff in there. Uh, same for DS, 3DS as well, we've got loads of nice stuff in just now. Uh, some Pokemon stuff, Yokai Watch, Turtles, some nice Dragon Quest stuff, WarioWare Gold. Always getting asked for this, and we've barely ever got it in stock. Yeah, more Dragon Quest, Luigi's Mansion, Mega Man X, or ZX even. Yeah, I wonder if he plays the Spectrum. So, yeah, lots, and there's again, there's another layer in here. PSP, had some decent stuff in recently for that. And like everything in here, there's another layer underneath. So, got tons of controllers just now. Got some box stuff up here. It's a wee bit of a scramble to fight your way through. Uh, and loads of unboxed stuff for older systems as well. So yeah, nice stuff. Got some anime books down there. We ran out of room, so we just dumped them there in a the tub. Uh, Japanese stuff now, so... Got three big boxes here of Japanese PlayStation 2. We're really well stocked up in that just now. Uh, these are the ones that I mainly take to shows and stuff, so yeah, these are the kind of better games. Uh, we've got some soundtrack CDs underneath. Sorry, I missed out on the other side. We've got a lot of stuff underneath. We've got Atari, we've got PSP, UMDs, we've got Jaguar CD. Uh, that's a big box of new television stuff. We have a lot of tape software and PC software. Uh, Atari ST and Amiga stuff underneath as well. Forgot to show you that, sorry. Uh, we've got four boxes here full of more soundtrack CDs. We have 
Wonder Swan, some Sega Saturn down there. These two boxes are American Sega Genesis games. And yeah, there's another box under there. We have, may as well just go underneath the stalls just now, Neo Geo Pocket. Got Japanese Game Gear, loose American SNES carts, some Dreamcast stuff there as well. Uh, so back up top, bit of a mess again, it does get ransacked a lot. We've got some really nice PlayStation 1 stuff in just now. Oh, there's caught in 100%. There's a brand new and sealed Final Fantasy IX. Got a pocket station. There's honestly, there's so many good games in the PS1 stuff just now. Same with Sega Saturn. Uh, there's Castlevania just sitting there looking for attention. Yeah, I did a video on all the Saturn games last night, so you can get a good look at everything we've got in there if you like. Uh, Dreamcast. Two or three good boxes full of stuff for that. The Japanese Game Boy, we've got some pretty heavy hitters in for that just now. And got Kid Dracula. This is incredibly rare, Bubble Bobble Jr. Uh, not exactly for the faint hearted for the price. Castlevania, Street Fighter 2, Nemesis, so yeah, loads of good stuff in for that. Hammer and Harry as well, another really heavy hitter. For that. Got some Game Boy Advance, PC Engine Hue cards in there and in there. We have. Hmm, I'm glaring here's terrible. Japanese PlayStation and. Nope, not Japanese, sorry, American. I'm confused why this is stuck. We have American GameCube and American PS2 games in there. Randomly, we've got a lot of games for the Sega Pico just now. Uh, the Virtual Boy, we've got Sega SC3000 and SG1000 games. And we have Sega Mark III games, Japanese DS games, a couple of boxes there. Japanese Mega Drive. So, mountains are really good games in for this just now. Very expensive console to collect for though. Uh, you got games like Undeadline that are only £350. Yeah, some really, really nice stuff in here. Yeah, some more there as well. Space Invaders 90 Gauntlet, which is stupid money, but it's a great game. Ghostbusters. Yeah. It's a Dragon Quest box set for 3DS and PS4. Yeah. Nintendo 64. Including the very sought after Evangelion game. Uh, it's genuinely an amazing game, but expensive. We've got Animal Crossing, we've got the best wrestling game of all time in a lot of people's eyes. All Japan Pro Wrestling, Virtual Pro Wrestling 2. Uh, Super Famicom. Tons of stuff for this. Uh, lots of really nice stuff for this, like Wild Guns. Final Fight Tough, Super Alest, uh, Prehistoric Man. Yeah, we've got a lot in just now for this. Mr. Do, the Rockman games. We lose Carter Metroid there. Uh, Flying Hero, which is really nice. Contra. Yeah, tons of stuff. And underneath here, got lots of loose carts for it as well. Uh, here, we've got a couple of boxes of really nice American Super Nintendo games. So obviously, I'd like to see a Final Fantasy, are really hard to get. Castlevania. Oh, a lot of nice RPGs in here which go for good money. Uh, Shadowrun, which is a bit of a belter. Illusion of Gaia. Uh, Contra, Turtles in Time, Secret of Mana, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Gradius 3, Metroid, Indiana Jones, actually Mega Man X, R-Type. So, yeah, not a bad selection in there. There's some more over there, but we're just getting to that. We've got our ever-popular kids' shopping trolleys. Uh, here, 
So, just so I don't miss this out later on, we've got some glass cabinets and these are what's on top. Uh, in here, we've got a nice addition switch console. Just some statues, some Buffy stuff there. The Coca-Cola Dreamcast is really interesting. There was only 50 made for a competition prize. So it's rare as, it's also £1,200. In this one we've got some nice handheld stuff. Neo Geo Pockets, Game Boy Advances, PSPs, some Game & Watch stuff. A few heavy hitting games in there, Castlevania, we've got a Mario that's sealed in the DS, Stranded Kids on the Game Boy Color, which is really expensive. Some brand new Zeldas, Hamful Park, which is a near £600 PS1 game. Yeah, randomly we've got some autograph cards and stuff in there. So yeah, some nice bits in there and more handheld stuff in here. So, lots of handheld consoles in this bit. Including a couple of nice Zelda... Nope, that's not Zelda. Pokemon. Quite a mistake to make. Pokemon 3DS XLs. We've got the very rare Japanese uh, Lizardon, which is a Japanese name for Charizard. 3DS LL. It was a Pokemon Center Japan exclusive. I think less than a thousand of them were made. Uh, if you look at the back of it, it's a stunning console. We've got the Samus Edition 3DS as well. Uh, the crystal screen gaming watches are incredible. Got a wee Grimlock in there and the chainsaw controller and the Commodore 64 made out of Lego. Pretty sweet. Right, I'll come back and do these action figures in a minute. I may as well finish off the gaming but just now. So... More American SNES games, including the game with probably the worst cover of all time. And there's also some more in there and some American loose carts. Uh, down here we've got Mega CD, Famicom Disk System and Neo Geo CD at the bottom. Most N64 carts, some kind of not so good Super Famicom games. Got more nice Super Famicom stuff up here. There's Mother 2, F Zero, Goman, Street Fighter, some Final Fantasies, Dragon Balls. Yeah, that's pretty rare. That's the easy type version of Final Fantasy 4. Uh, Jackie Crush, a beautiful pinball game. Act Razor 2 is pretty hard to get. The Japanese version of Bart Simpson, well, the Simpsons Bart's Nightmares in it. It's a nightmare to get a hold of. Blackthorn, that's an incredible game. Uh, some more Super Famicom. Here's something interesting. Here's the very first ever Zelda game for the Famicom. And there's two of them here. And here's the first ever Final Fantasy game for the Famicom. And there's the second one. And there's the third one. Uh, this box needs a tidy up. This is all Famicom games, including a very hard to get Dragon Quest IV limited edition. It's the only time I've ever seen that. Uh, yeah, so more loose carts and PS3 stuff down there. Up here we've got two boxes of Neo Geo AES carts. So, yeah, a lot of money sitting in these boxes. And there's another one. Oh god, that's heavy. Under there. Uh, we've got nice PlayStation 3 and some PSP stuff up here. Some PS4 mixed in there, including the very rare Godzilla. Don't know why my Bluetooth speaker's having a wobbly. We've got... This is a nice box of Japanese PSP stuff in here as well. Got a nice collection, just came in. Some Japanese Wii. Uh, this is going to mess up a little bit. So we have some PC Engine CD stuff. And some not so nice PC Engine CD stuff. Loads of Japanese GameCube games in these boxes. Uh, a bit overflow of Japanese Saturn and Dreamcast and some big box PSP stuff. 
uh, Japanese Xbox and 360 games here. More Dreamcast stuff under there. Uh, got another couple of boxes of Sega Saturn games here. More Xbox stuff. Uh, with a box full of 3DO games. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, more Saturn. More PlayStation. And the box at the bottom is all PCFX games. Uh, back to the PlayStation 1 stuff there. There's a handful of Japanese Wii U. And loads of PS Vita stuff here. And another couple of boxes of... PS2 stuff. So, I think what I'll do is I'll go back down here and we'll just go around the action figures and then probably finish up with the consoles and stuff. So, uh, we do go up quite high in this shop. A lot of the bigger box stuff, like the helmets and stuff, are up the top. Got some pretty cool Transformers stuff, including an Optimus Prime that transforms into an old iPod dock. All works as well. Some nice Marvel stuff there. A lot of the McFarlane DC stuff. A lot of this we've got at really good prices just now because we got them at good prices. Transformer section needs a wee tidy up actually, it's been ransacked, which is good. Yeah, loads of Marvel stuff in this wee section as well that I somehow missed out. As you can see, these go back. There's usually four or five on each row of different figures. So if you're in, don't just think it's what's on the front. Have a wee look behind, you'll find some treasure mixed in. So, yeah. There's a couple of original G1 Japanese Transformers boxed. Beautiful Joker from Killing Joke. Uh, Lots of Star Wars stuff here as well, obviously. Again, you can see there, these go back. There's usually maybe six or seven different figures on each shelf. So, by all means, please have a good rummage through. We're trying to have a mix of like the high-end stuff through to just kind of kids' toys, just to give something for everyone. Uh, We've got a nice Castle Grey skull up there. Some really big Lord of the Rings stuff up the top. Uh, Lobo on his bike is beautiful. Some of the big Black Adam figures, which are really good for the money. More Star Wars. Some turtles. More turtles. Some of the Necker Turtles, this is brilliant, so you get April O'Neill done as the Bride of Frankenstein. Leonardo is a creature from the Black Lagoon, so these are just really nice crossover toys, really cool. Uh, yeah, we've got tons of stuff, we've got some of the big Super 7 stuff in as well, a lot of Necker stuff there. Yeah, more Lord of the Rings stuff mixed in. And yeah... Just some big DC figures there, Masters of the Universe. A wee bit of a hodgepodge of random stuff mixed in here as well. It's that kind of shop where a good rummage will find you something that even I forgot we had in. These Lord of the Rings figures are pretty nice and they're still, they're only £15. Which is probably what they cost when they came out in the 2000s early. Yeah, this corner always ends up a little bit of a mess. So, some random Stargate and Babylon 5 figures in here as well. Pretty cool. Right, so I don't lose track. I'll go back and do this side. So, we've actually got a nice wee selection of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and the Angel figures in there. Got some Five Nights at Freddy's. Ghostbusters, Gremlins, Alf, Good. lots of unboxed Buffy and Angel figures as well, Dungeons and Dragons, loads of cool wrestling stuff, this box is really popular, it's just wee 
two for a fiver wrestling figures. We've got loads of wrestling Funko Pops in here. Yeah, lots of carded and new figures. Some out of the box as well. And some of these really big figures. And a couple of rings as well. And somehow, I think I missed this. Yeah, so, still got lots of Doctor Who stuff left, although we have sold a ton of it, which is nice. Uh, we've got a new board game supplier as well, so these look really cool. I mean, who doesn't want to play Sweary Bingo? And yeah, these all look like great fun. You can of beat a good tabletop game. And some more Doctor Who. Right, so we will go down this one now. So, Indiana Jones. Got some Walking Dead stuff. More indie. We've got some of the higher toys, Judge Dread stuff, which are beautiful. Tony Terror's Wednesday. Some Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Castlevania. Yeah, a wee bit of a mix of stuff in there. Uncharted. I uh, got a week in a Game of Thrones section going on here. Lots of the big Funko Pops and some figures. We've got a wee bit of Warhammer. Even got buried away here. Legal Transporter from Space 1999. This is old, but it's never been taken out of the box. And it is beautiful. Got some Warhammer. A random Sons of Anarchy bike. More Game of Thrones Funkos. Yeah, just a wee bit of random stuff in here. Corpse Bride, Nightmare Before Christmas, Indiana Jones, Buddy Christ from Dogma. And some Tomb Raider figures as well. Uh, on this side, got more of these Dorbs. Yeah, this is slightly disturbing nighttime Lois and Peter. Just a wee bit of merch here as well, just some licensed stuff. More Dorbs and we've got a decent selection of board games in just now. Got Dark Souls expansion, we just finally managed to get a hold of another copy of the main Dark Souls game as well. Resident Evil expansion. Some various monopolies. Uh, there's a random big Pokemon Funko in there. Interesting placement. So yeah, lots of nice games. And some Warhammer books and stuff like that, a lot of the Codex stuff. So, back to our wall over here. Let's go here so I don't miss anything. So we've got big Chucky stuff up here. Got the 18 inch stuff and then we've got the full size Chucky and we've got Tiffany and Annabelle. So they're huge. Got lots of nice horror stuff here. Killer clowns, thousand corpses, What's well, a really disturbing horror stuff in the cool Goonies chunk. Sloth even, sorry. What's a nice Tony Terrors. Some early McFarlane movie maniac stuff. Yeah, there's some really, really nice stuff in here, but you do need to go for a wee rummage. Where else do you find stuff for Grindhouse? Uh, more big stuff up here, the replica chainsaw from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's pretty much life size, it's awesome. We have more big 18 inch figures here. And we've got a really cool selection of NECA stuff in just now, as you were about to find out. Yeah, this one is a Comic-Con exclusive, so really rare, that's why it's £120, but yeah, got a multi-coloured mask in there, yeah, very nice. So yeah, most 
most popular horror franchises are covered here. And then we've got the, not horror, but obviously still Necker, so Flash Gordon, Back to the Future. Oh, this is this is really nice, the Predator from Prey. Really, really nice Necker figure. Again, these aliens are excellent as well. Really amazing detail on them. Uh, I really like this, the Kubrick. It's kind of like, almost like Lego looking. So yeah, we've got a pretty good section in now for Necker. More big stuff up the top. A lot of these are older things that are just out of print now. You just can't get them. Like the Hellraiser figure there and the Pinhead at the top. They don't make them anymore, so they're not going to be going down in price anytime soon. Uh, I've got the puppet of Billy from Saw. Some Scarface stuff. And yeah, now we're on to the mountain of Funko Pops that we have in stock, so in theory, the stuff that I'm showing you just now should be just superhero stuff, Marvel and DC, but things do get mixed in quite a lot, like the Looney Tunes one shouldn't be there, uh, poor Jim, he's, he, he goes through and sorts it out all the time, and yeah, rather him than me, selfishly. So these are at least three if not four deep the whole time so it was quite hard work to find everything we've got but we've got some pretty good ones in just now uh, it's a cool lost boys one there one thing i do like about funko pops are not my favorite things but no matter how obscure the franchise you like you will get a Funko Pop for it. So yeah, shelves and shelves and shelves of bloody things. There's that awesome big marshmallow man there though. And yeah, we'll just carry on along this wall, I think. So these are some nice big game box sets that come with statues and stuff like that. Uh, the Last of Us stuff is really, really rare. It's also really, really expensive. Uh, got some Harry Potter stuff in here. Some Funkos, some kind of collectible stuff, some of the wands. We don't have an awful lot, but we do have a Lego section. There is some pretty cool stuff in here. And there's some more down there as well, some of the smaller sets. Uh, we've got a wee Star trek -y section here. Some figures, some sideshow bus, uh, more figures, there's Can with his boobs out as usual. Uh, and the Funko Pops just keep on coming. Uh, and some Star Trek models and stuff down the bottom. Right, so let's continue. Uh, some more Doctor Who stuff. And uh, nice big ET box out there. Got some Star Wars stuff in here. There's quite a lot of randomness in here. Some of it's weird Japanese stuff like the Pepsi bottle tops, which are quite cool. Yeah, loads of Funko Pops. Yeah, actually. It's looking quite empty in there, I'll need to see about buying some stuff in for that, I think. Uh, more big figures up the top. Getting to where most of the anime stuff kind of kicks in now. So mostly in this bit is what you would call, probably getting myself in trouble here, but generic anime girl stuff. Uh, a bunch of characters that have no idea who they are, but the statues look really cool. Uh, although that is Neon Genesis at least, so we've got some stuff in there that's pretty cool. And we've got in about maybe a dozen Hatsune Miku statues just now, which are really cool. Some more down the bottom as well. Yeah, back up top. 
Some fairly big anime stuff. Final Fantasy. Some Chainsaw Man stuff. My Hero Academia. And we've got loads of old living dead dolls in here which look really, really cool. And there's some Figma stuff dotted in there. Uh, some masks, a random acorn monitor, an old CRT with a video in it. Uh, yeah, some One Piece Naruto, some Dragon Ball stuff probably in here. We've got a random Kirby fan and fondue maker. Some nice Q Posket figures, whatever this disturbing guy is meant to be. Death Note, Dragon Ball. Yeah, so some pretty cool stuff in there. Sorry, I'm getting myself dizzy here. We've got a random box of rummage stuff. We've got loads of plushies in here. We've got Stitch, we've got big super sized flying Kirby's, uh, Charmander, etc. etc. Uh, tons of Demon Slayer stuff here. And other various enemies, but mainly Demon Slayer. Uh, they have a Cowboy Bebop, Funko Pop, loads of Dragon Ball and Yu-Gi-Oh stuff here. Mainly Dragon Ball by the looks of it. Uh, we have our poster rack here. Uh, I'm not going to bore you by showing you all 48 posters we've got, but there's some really nice. We go obviously for the classics mixed in with some modern stuff. Uh, Zelda and Deadpool, so a good mix. We've got some Pokemon, Star Wars. Don't know why we've got a Rebel Moon one, because that film sucked. Uh, Harley, Nightmare Before Christmas, etc. Beautiful big Zelda cardboard cutout. If anyone asks if I've got a toilet, I just see it underneath that. Uh, not very glamorous. Here's our toilet. Got a big Terminator garden or graphic novels. Really quite well stocked up just now. Got a nice big collection in yesterday. Uh, some cheaper stuff in there. Got a really nice run of the Marvel UK Star Wars Weekly Comics from 1978. Which was a long time ago. Loads of comics in there as well. And some kind of mainly comic related Figures and statues and stuff, including the Hot Toys Batmobile, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. Some more plushies. We have licensed doormats, so Welcome to the Dark Side, A Nightmare Awaits, Stranger Things, etc. Yeah. Again, more graphic novels and statues, etc. here. And the nice stuff in, like the boys and all that as well. So, quite well stocked. That's really cool. Signed by Stan Lee. Uh, very random selection of HD DVDs and stuff there. More plushies. Some lounge fly bags. And here we have more nice big figures and statues. Yeah, lots of superhero stuff. We've got loads of boxed amiibos. And here we have lots of Skylanders. Uh, again, there's tons on each peg here, so well worth a wee rummage. Uh, some more plushies there. Uh, we've got our wee display cabinets here, guarded by Batman and Superman, so we've got some pretty rare Supernatural Funkos in just now, which are always nice. Uh, so we've got Sam and Dean with the car, uh, lots of loose amiibos and other cool statues and stuff. Some pretty rare games at the bottom. Uh, mainly the Japanese ones in there, a bit obscure. Uh, some nice game watches. And yeah, some more amiibos and Disney Infinity and stuff like that there. 
we have random rubbish boxes full of stuff that just doesn't have enough to have its own section. Uh, more anime style figures, some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, Sailor Moon, big rummage boxes, full of a mix of absolute garbage and super cool stuff, of course. Along the bottom we have loads of Japanese laser discs. And yeah, more rummage boxes there, a few Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest things. And yeah, we've got the portal gun, which is a bargain at £700. Ooh. Uh, loads of licensed bottles, mugs, gift sets, stuff like that. Uh, the boys don't be a see you next Tuesday. Yeah, well, so these are pretty cool. These are really popular just because they're kind of quite well priced for what they are. £12 for a nice mug and coaster box set. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so Stranger Things stuff. Right, we're getting there and I've been rattling on for nearly an hour so I'll try and speed this up. Big box sets, games, usually with statues. We've got Steel Battalion 1 and 2. Uh, loads of nice stuff there. Loads of books, art books, guide books, box sets. We've got unboxed arcade sticks and steering wheels. And no, before you ask, we don't want to buy any more steering wheels because nobody else seems to want to buy them. Yeah, more books there, guitars, hey, Japanese consoles, and then I think that'll be us after we do the consoles. Neo Geo CD, we have American GameCubes, American Wii U, lots of obscure Japanese home PC games and stuff at the bottom. We have an American Wii U that's still new, Japanese 360, an original Xbox that's brand new. GameCubes, a brand new American PS2, and yeah, some weird and wonderful Japanese systems here. With the Pioneer MSX console and the Laser Active. Nice super graphics, American N64, some arcade sticks, PC Engine, MSX, Arcadia. The Gundam Personal Computer, Casio Lupi, uh, more Neo Geo games in there as well. A uh, beautiful big Biohazard box set, FM Towns Marty 2, yeah, some Famicoms. So again, still on the Japanese stuff, we've got Mega Drives, we've got Dreamcast. Uh, Dreamcast Twin Stick, we've got an Unbox Neo Geo and Dreamcast, some Sega Arcade Sticks, the Sega Mark III, which was the Japanese version of the Master System, we've got the Pico Bina, which is an educational computer, it plays the Pokemon game I showed you earlier on, Racing Controllers, Bomberman Multitaps, some pretty rare Sega Saturns and a Mega Drive Mini, some more Japanese Sega Saturns there. A Dreamcast karaoke unit. Sega 32X. Cha Cha Amigos. The Hello Kitty Dreamcast, which is beautiful. Some more arcade sticks. The SC3000 personal computer. Othello Multivision. Some Lethal Enforcer stuff. And yeah, some special edition games and stuff in there. Right, let's go here. So, ridiculous controller for the GameCube, arcade sticks, beautiful one piece PS3, a lovely blue PS2, midnight black PS2, yeah, some arcade sticks and accessories, Japanese PlayStation 1s. So the Japanese GameCube, we've got the Biohazard box set for the GameCube, Monster Hunter Wii U, Sharp Twin Famicom, 
that's a quite a rare box set, that's the Famicom and the Super Famicom Mini, N64's Super Famicom, a clear red N64, some accessories, got a nice Virtual Boy in just now, Pikachu N64, box controllers, yeah, I'm going to go down here because this will be the last of the Japanese stuff I think. Yeah, so look at that, and we've got the Final Fantasy PS4, which is really beautiful. Right, so on to UK stuff now. So, big Capcom arcade, stick with the games built in. Quite a lot of Xbox stuff in just now. Which, great consoles, but not too exciting to look at. We've got a big, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, games. Uh, it's a big portable screen, you can put your PS4 or Xbox One in it. And yeah, it's not exactly a handheld console, but it'll get you going through a long car journey. Right, some Sega stuff, Mega CD, Mega Drive, a couple of Sega Saturns in, arcade stick. We've got about 50 steering wheels. Dreamcast. Mega Drive 2, Mega Drive 1. This is nice, the Aladdin version of the Mega Drive 2. Yeah, and down there we've got a big Xbox arcade stick and some other bits. Uh, so we've got a box PS5, we've got another Pip Boy, PlayStation 3. We've got the two big massive God of War Ragnarok editions, the Jotnar edition. Is a rarer of the two, it's got more in it, but I think it was American exclusive. We've got the Tears of the Kingdom Switch box set. Got a wee GameCube, Nino Kuni. That's beautiful, the dual sense for the PS5, the Final Fantasy Edition. PlayStation Mini. Quite a rare box variation, but not in great condition, the Harry Potter edition. Uh, yeah, so we've got some PS Vita, got a couple of the old red switches in just now, including the Tears of the Kingdom one. Yeah, some nice Nintendo stuff as well, including the deluxe set, N64, that's quite a rare variation of the N64 with a gold controller. Again, this is the only time I've ever had this. It's a nice box set, some controllers, a zapper and some Wii's in there as well. Right, so I think this is maybe the last bit we've got to do, so we will finally wrap this up. So some computer type stuff here. Got a lot of these grandstand handheld machines in just now. Loads of unboxed consoles. This is where we keep and display all our loose consoles. So we've got a decent selection in just now, including weird stuff like CDIs. Yeah, we've got even got a box CDI and a video CD card. Neo Geo Gold. Ooh yeah. Game Gears. And as the sign says, all consoles include everything you need to get started. And here we go, I think we're yep, just about finished. Commodore 64, some random bits in here. So Box Spectrum, Box C64, a Mitsubishi MSX, Amiga, Vic 20, Commodore 16, Atari ST, BBC, got lots of kind of wee handheld plug in play games and stuff down there. I've got randomly placed a big massive Mortal Kombat 1 box set. I've got an Amiga 500 Mini box STE, and yeah, some weird and wonderful stuff there. I do like the old uh, Kevin Keegan perm haircut on that. Atari 600XL, Toshiba MSX, Fairchild Channel F. And yeah, 
So I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, that was the longest video yet. I don't know about you, but I'm fed up listening to me. Uh, yeah, so that's us. I would show you upstairs, but it's a riot and there's nothing good up there, so... I can't imagine you sat and watched all of that, but if you did, thank you. Uh, if you just skipped through it, thank you again. Appreciate any effort you've made at all. And have a great day. Thanks. Bye.